up, y'all? Good morning. It is Saturday, and we'll get right to it. Um, so, I have HID headlights or balls in my car, um, and one of them went out, so I'm gonna change them. And so I ordered some stuff from Amazon, and it came in yesterday. And I'm going with these these guys here. Innovated. I don't know anything about the brand. I'm just going with them because I like what they had as far as uh, the color of the bulbs. I'm not gonna act like I'm this big HID expert. And I also got some new fog lights. Uh, the ones that I have are not legal. So I'll be switching that out. And this is what I'm more happy about getting it's the uh, power source for the rear view camera because I want to get rid of that damn cigarette lighter. So let's get into it right now. It's a little early. Hey, let me see. It's not a clock. Yeah, it's not a clock. All right, so I'm gonna go to the car right now, move it and uh, give me some room to work. So stay tuned, let's get going and uh, get this started. right here the ballast if you can see that red wire on the bottom right it's somewhere tucked under here so what I'm gonna have to do is get under the fender uh, fender lining and unscrew these bolts and pull this back look for the ballast pull that out and replace it with the new one and um, see how that works as far as mounting it so uh, yeah, let me get started on this. All right, so there goes the ballast. Gonna... There goes the ballast, I'm gonna get that pulled out and I don't know how I'm gonna mount it. Matter of fact, I need to see what the other ones look like to make sure this is gonna work, so hold on. All right, so here's the kit, it looks about the same. As far as everything else that I worked with. So we have this. This is the ballast. I don't think I need. I don't think I need this little conversion kit. But yeah, this looks like yeah, these are the ballasts right here. And these are the bulbs, which I believe are H11s. Yep, they are H11s. So Get this going, keep it going, and then I'll pull these bulbs out and connect them back on. Y'all stay tuned. Alright, so I pulled the ballast out. Look how dirty this shit is, man. This shit looks crazy. But yeah, it looks like we put on there with double sided tape when I initially did with my boy Philip. Yeah, just want to show you guys that. Let me get started. is my fault so I am going to relook at this again I, I didn't take in consideration of the manufacturer of the gen 6 headlights so 
I'm gonna go back on Amazon and try it again. So, but what I can do is install my fog lights. So I'll do that right now. Also, we still gotta put on the, uh, the power source for the camera. So we'll work on that. And then again, get back on Amazon, find out who the manufacturer is for those light bulbs and go from there. installed let's at least see what those look like since i wasn't successful with the uh hids but yeah hold on one second Let's get to uh, the last part, which is installing the power source for the camera. So this is a mini USB. Oh damn, yeah. This is a mini USB cable. So what we're gonna do, like I said, I don't like, I don't like the cigarette lighter setup. Look how trash this is. So, what we're gonna do is start from here, you know, uh, we'll connect it, start from here, and hide it under the ceiling of the car and try to get it into the pillars here. And then on this side is where the fuse box is. That's where I'll be using the connection for that. So, let me get going on this. It's pretty hot outside or pretty humid outside. I've been sweating like crazy, so. Let me get started on this. It's a lot of wires, so I don't know how I'm gonna hide all this, but we'll improvise. Phillips house to get this resolved I can't figure it out for whatever reason um, I'm not gonna act like I'm that savvy with electronics as it is but I figured it would be self-explanatory I even tried doing YouTube research and just well I was impatient but at the same time I just don't couldn't find anything that was gonna help me so we're gonna head to Phillips house or I'm gonna head to Phillips house and try to get this connection fixed and again move on from there and try to get these light bulbs ordered today it's already noon so hopefully i can get these damn light bulbs today if not no big deal we'll just continue on with the uh content and you know follow up with the next day but let's get going let's try to get this resolved and you guys stay tuned so pull up on my boy philip <laughs> All right, so we're able to get the video to come on. So what we did is we screwed in the ground wire here. Um, we use the OnStar, which is here. Or wait, is it beneath it? I don't know, we use one of these two. We use the seven and a half or the 10, either way, we were able to get display and we put, it, we put one of the fuses in and then a five, and we were able to get a display off of here. Our only concern is, is when you turn the car off, it stays powered on. So we're just trying to figure out if there's another way around it without having it drain the, possibly drain the battery. So that's what we're working with right now. I'll be back and I'll show you what the result is. All right, so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You see it's wired in, all from the ceiling, all the way to the side of the pillar down to the fuse box where I zip tied everything. And again, we use the OnStar fuse in order for it to power on. And of course I zip tied it up. So yeah, 
best I could do as far as making this stealth, but shout out to Philip who helped me with this issue. And uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my boy Philip. But yeah, um Philip came through clutching the in the paint with this shit, man. I'm satisfied with how it looks, so yeah. Alright, so I got my package from Amazon. Looks like you can only use the VLAN headlights that they suggest for uh the headlights that I have. Um basically the understanding I have now is with the previous, if you have the OEM headlights that your Gen 5 comes with, those headlights fit perfectly. But again, because I have an aftermarket headlights, um, you can only use the ones that they suggest. So we're gonna open it up, see what we got inside here. And so we got the little headlights. These look a little janky. I kind of like the other ones better because they're longer and bigger. Um, but this is what I'm working with as far as headlights. And then they also come with the ballast as well. So they were also kind enough to provide two zip ties. So we'll probably use these to mount it up. But um, yeah, looks like this is what you have to use for the, that specific model. And uh, we'll get on that either today or probably another day i don't know it's pretty hot outside so yeah that's what we got here and we'll put it on the car once we have time but that's it all right so i decided to get on it right now so we're gonna get the light bulb connected to the ballast here put it on the car And you see how far, if you look at the glare right here, it's got a longer reach, long, longer range. And if you look at the left, it's a much shorter range. It's preferably the color that I wanted though on the left hand side. It's more of a bluish color. I like that color, but we'll go with this. And you know, if I find something in the future, maybe I'll change it. But I finally got it in. I'm going to change the second one on and uh, move on from there. website when I saw it on Amazon and it said diamond white I'm assuming it would have some type of a bluish hue to it and uh, when I turn my car on you actually kind of see it a little bit but the more and more the bulb starts to heat up the brighter white it starts to get which um, wasn't the look that I was going for I was actually trying to go for this look um, yeah I was looking for something more of a bluish hue like even if you look at my fog lights uh, those also have a more bluish look, like a lighter bluish look to it. Uh, but with either way, I'm, I'm just going to rock with that for the time being until I can find other ones. Because um, I really just want to prevent from being pulled over by cops, like getting stupid things like fix it tickets and stuff, just because I got like one headlight out. So that's going to be it to, for today's episode, you guys. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Your support means everything. Um, 
I do have a lot of more things cooking up in the future. Uh, should be getting a performance party in this week, uh, but not a big deal. But until then, you guys, you guys take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.